I see you made it to my humble abode. Welcome to MTV Cribs Powerlifting Edition. We're about maximizing life, but living minim minimal, right? So we have this sweet little stove here. Yeah, I ordered this, got this off eBay. This thing heats up at, you know, 1100 degrees Celsius. This refrigerator is very special. This helps practice your squatting and, and deadlifting by having to get into position to get your food. You know, so you gotta open the tank, spread the tank, right? Which is over here. But just, you know, just for you to be nonchalant, like if you're just hanging out, you just like turn the lights out. You know, so, you know, we just wanna be simple, basic, right? Couch, a big TV on the wall right here. Let me show you something. Some of y'all ain't even got this right here. Look at this view right here. We got Beverly's house right here. Beverly makes some biscuits. I'm gonna show you where the magic goes down. See how I got the, yeah, literally see the sheets and this is where the magic goes down. This is where it happens at. My bed, this is, this is made out of, um, it's lacquered in sassafras and it's made out of gopher wood. Yep, it's gopher wood right there. Spits and stuff right there, it costs more than your house. Then we got the sweet bathroom, the cool little walk in this hot tub. Believe it or not, I can fit in here sometimes. It just depends if I'm on my meal preps or what. But uh, that's about it, guys. first so there's four flights flights last between 45 and an hour and 15 so the meet started at nine four hours so it's kind of perfect timing gotta bring a turkey sandwich gotta bring a turkey sandwich just this this in case something goes wrong you know throw that in the bag we got some Pedialyte <sighs> throw that in the bag about to log out of social media while I'm in the car just because uh, people just, you know how it is, they want to blow you up. 
they want to wish you good luck, but a lot of times it's overwhelming. So, guys, get ready. New all-time world record coming soon. We're about to make a shake. You heard it first. Think about this. In 2013, I just got into rehab and I was basically homeless. I, I didn't have a job. I had two kids at home. I never knew how to be a man. I never knew how to take care of responsibilities. I was just like a child, you know? And at one point, I was doing this powerlifting thing. And I had a full-time job, two part-time jobs, and I was maintaining a family life. I could have gave up, I don't know how many times. There, there's been many times I wanted to give up. If you even think about it, I'm sure every person in a place of power or a person who's trying to better themselves and that have faced some sort of resistance has at one point in their life thought about giving up. But it's those who are willing to go the lengths that it takes to better themselves, those who are willing to sacrifice sleep, who are willing to sacrifice the, the nightlife, the parties. It took a lot of hard work, blood, sweat, tears, definitely tears. I can remember in 2018, when I was going into the gym, there was days where you probably wouldn't be able to tell because I was sweating so much, but literally tears was running down my face because I was ready to give up. I was at the, my wit's end. Me and my wife weren't on the same page. Um, especially balancing being a dad, um, taking in our nephew when he was only six months old because his mom wasn't able to, uh, to take care of him. So all these things that I went through, I went through a point where the doctor told me that I would never lift weights again. I would never lift weights again after um, the box jump in 2018. I wanted to better myself so much that I was willing to do whatever it took to get to the next level. And today, today is a product of the hard work and dedication that I put in over the past eight years, guys. 127 pounds for his opening bench press. To give you a little perspective, this is the all time world record two short years ago. And it's possible. It's possible for you to achieve your dreams. It's, and it doesn't mean you're going to be a weightlifting champion. I'm talking about whatever facet in life that you want to go down and, and, and what type of person you want to be, whether you want to be a doctor, whether you want to be a lawyer, whether you just want to be a great dad. Just being a great dad or a great husband, that's a part of it. There's going to be times where um, you feel like you're not going to make any progress and you're going to feel like that, that you feel like the resistance is so much that it feels like it's going to bury you. But I promise you, in those moments, when you try harder and you keep pushing and you fight back for what you want in life, Guys, the product is beautiful. The product that that creates, that I, I can tell you 100% that Jesus Christ is real simply because I've experienced it and you don't come from a background that I've come from and excel the way I've excelled, man. Absolutely not. That's what being a regular is about. Being bold about your faith. Being bold about what you want in life. Whatever you want in life, speak it, write it down, and go after it. Go get it.
know I talk about this all the time, but just my gratitude for life and just to be able to experience life at this magnitude, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I love it. I love it. Like, the Lord has been so good to me, and I think it's just a lot of it is due to, like, being obedient and, and like, fighting the fight. And, uh, having a heart of gratitude.